there is a lot of the service economy that's clearly extremely materially oriented. Uh, the transportation sector, often classified as a service sector, that's most obviously a function of low entropy uh, energy input. And, uh, uh, but now take the other end of the spectrum of these service sectors, the end that's supposed to be very much non-material in nature, like information economy. That the notion that the information economy could reconcile the trade-off between economic growth and the environment, that was always a red herring. And all we had to do is ask ourselves two questions. First of all, what are we going to do with the information? Because if we're not going to use it for other relevant economic sectors like transportation, agriculture, manufacturing, and, and other service sectors, well, that's great, but it's not really relevant to the issue of economic growth in the environment. It's got to uh, be purchased in the market to be relevant to the issue of economic growth. So, you know, it, in the information sector, as with all the service sectors, is part of this integrated economy that is founded upon uh, uh, the trophic level of the producers, the farmers and the extractors. Uh, the surplus from which frees the hands for the division of labor, allowing the manufacturing and the service sectors to exist, employing those, those service sectors. Uh, so that's a short answer uh, on, on one side of the coin, let's see. <clears throat> the other side of this transactional coin, if you will, you, you have to ask yourself, well, how does one come to afford the information. Once again, it's got you have someone has to afford it in order to make it relevant to the issue of economic growth. And once again, that you see the origins of money are ultimately in agricultural and extractive surplus. In addition, what does the person who makes the money then on the information technology or information do with that income? Once again, it's got to be spent on something and and. Uh, Again, it, it's likely to be regular old goods and services that are not entirely information 